Hi, I'm Danielle Burkle, and I'm one of the Delaware County Dairy Princesses. Today, I'm going to be reading My Family's Dairy Farm by Katie Oltoff. Hi, my name is Lucas, and this is My Family's Farm. We raise corn, alfalfa, and dairy cattle. Lucas's grandparents had about 80 cows. Then the farm expanded in 1997 to 350 cows. Over the years, the family has built more dairy barns and added cows. Now they have about 1,100 cows on the farm. Dairy farmers focus on sustainable nutrition. Their goal is to create, to create a nutritious food that is good for the planet and the community. Dairy cattle are very calm animals, but they require a lot of care. We make sure they have feed and water. We also make sure they are comfortable. See the soft beds they are laying on? And see the big fans that keep them cool? The barn keeps them warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Lucas's family raises Jersey cows. Jerseys are usually brown and are great at making milk. Another popular breed of dairy cattle in the U.S. is Holsteins. Holsteins are black and white. Right here, I have a brown Swiss cross. She is both brown Swiss and Holstein. Each of our cows has a baby calf every year. After the cow gives birth, its, ba its body starts making milk. Cows make milk to feed their calves and to continue producing milk as long as they are regularly milked. Many of the baby calves will grow up to become mothers themselves and become part of the milking herd. Cow's milk provides us with many important nutrition. Nu cow's milk provides us with many important nutrients. It is a great source of protein, calcium, and vitamin B12. The milk, from the milk from cows can also be made into yogurt, ice cream, and butter. Most of our milk on the farm is made into cheese. Jersey cows make milk that is high in fat and protein. Proteins help build and repair muscle tissue. Calcium helps build and maintain strong bones and teeth. Vitamin B12 helps with normal blood functions and keeps the nervous system healthy. Cheese is made from milk that contains a lot of fat and protein. In the milk from Lucas's farm, nearly half, 48%, of the milk is used to make cheese. Our cows spend about half the day lying down, but they're not lazy. Their bodies are constantly making milk. Three times a day, they line up to get milked. When we open the gate, they know exactly where to go. The cows are milked at 4.30 a.m., 12.15 p.m., and 8.30 p.m. Cows like having a steady routine. Now on our farm, we only milk twice a day, so we milk at 5 in the morning and 5 at night. They head to the milking parlor, then each teat is washed with soap. We will attach all four teats to the milk machine. The machine gently sucks the milk out from the other. Three times a day, the milking parlor is cleaned to keep the milk safe. Using state-of-the-art equipment prevents conta contamination. Food safety is one of the top priority of dairy farmers. The whole process takes about five minutes. See those computer screens? They keep track of how much milk comes from each cow. Each cow has an ear tag with electronic ID. This is a name tag that can be read by a computer. Each of our cows makes about 55 pounds of milk each day. That's almost seven gallons. Enough to fill 112 little cartons of milk like the ones you have at school. When the cow is milked, the computers keep track of how much milk is produced. If a cow is making less milk than normal, it tells the farmer that something might be wrong. If that happens, the cow is guided to an area where it can be assessed for any health issues. Our cows have to eat a lot to stay healthy. It takes about one acre of farmland to grow the alfalfa and corn needed for one cow. Dairy farmers consult with any animal an animal nutritionist to help determine which farm rations should be used. A well-balanced ration help keeps the cattle healthy. We mix together feed ingredients using recipes called rations. The rations change as the cow gets older. The rations give the cattle exactly the right nutrients that they need, and they love it. 
Veterinarians also monitor the cattle to treat illness when needed. After the milk is collected, it is filtered and cooled. Then it is hauled away to the processor. The processor will make our milk and the cheese. If a cow is sick, it might need medicine, like antibiotics. In that case, the cow will be milked in a different area and the milk will not be used. This ensures that there are no antibiotics in the milk that is sold for humans to drink. Still, the milk is tested several times before it goes to the store to get made into cheese. In addition to testing free antibiotics, it is also tested for harmful bacteria. The protein and fat content can also be measured through testing. The milk truck comes once a day to pick up the milk. Before loading up the truck, we test the milk for safety. Then, the milk is tested again at the processor. If there is anything in the milk that might make people sick, it is not used. Milk can go from the farm to the grocery store shelves in about two days. Cheese takes a little bit longer to make. Keeping these barns clean is a big part of our job. In most of the barns, the manure drops through the slats and in the floor and then is stored underground in a really big tank until we can spread it on our fields. It makes great fertilizer for the plants. In addition to using manure as fertilizer, it can also be recycled by squeezing out the water from the solid plant matter. Some dairy farmers use sand to make beds for the cows, but Lucas's family uses the dried manure, which is really just plant matter that wasn't digested by the cows. Some dairy farms even dry the manure and use it to make micro-degradable flower pots. Others use the manure to produce biogas, which can be used for electricity, heat, natural gas, or vehicle fuel. Using manure as a fertilizer is one way we take care of our environment. We also recycle water on our family farm and plant cover crops to improve soil health. We even have a farm pond that catches the water from the driveway. Wildlife like muskrats live there. Cows drink up to 40 gallons of milk per day, so dairy farmers work hard to conserve water. On Lucas's farm, the water is first used to cool the milk before the cows drink it. The cold water and warm milk flow through different parts of the same machine. The water is warmed up by the milk and the milk is cooled down by the water. Taking care of the environment, recycling, and making more food with fewer resources are all important to my family. Then the 70 degrees Fahrenheit water flows to the tanks for the cows to drink from. The cows prefer the warmer water, even in the summer. In addition to recycling water and manure, Lucas's family uses soil conservation techniques on their fields and looks for ways on their farm to be more efficient and sustainable. Our family works together on our dairy farm, along with several employees. The employees help us take care of the cows and milk them each day. I love working with the cows and I am proud of the milk and cheese that comes from our family farm. Lucas's family farm supports several jobs in their community. From the milkers, to the milk hauler, to the processor employees, dairy farms are an important part of the rural economies. Dairy farms have become much more efficient and sustainable since Lucas's grandparents began milking cows several decades ago. According to the U.S. Dairy Environment, impact of producing a gallon of milk today involves 30% less water, 21% less land, and 21% less manure, and 19% smaller carbon footprint than it did in 2007. With innovative and de dedicated farmers like Lucas's family, the dairy farms and the, of the future are sure to make more advances and become even more sustainable. Thank you for listening.